About a year ago, I made it my ambition to live a quiet life, to work with my hands in order to cultivate a more peaceful lifestyle, a more quiet lifestyle, a more slow living lifestyle. And it was life changing. So I wanted to simplify it down to 10 habits you could do throughout your day that will help you live a slower life. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be 10 habits and rhythms that I've created in my daily life to help me slow down and really live a slower, less stressful life. At the beginning of last year, I decided that I was going to create some new habits to help me feel less stressed. I felt like I had so much noise in my life and I didn't really know how to fix it or what was going on, but I knew something was off. So I created some disciplines and habits to really help me slow down and it really has been life changing. So I want to make this video if you're also feeling stressed and overwhelmed, first of all, you're not alone. I still feel that, but there have been things that I've implemented in my life that have really helped me feel more at peace and have a more quiet life and so i wanted to make this video to help you if you also feel that way i've tried to simplify this as much as possible and i just wanted to say that these habits might help me but they might not all help you but i do think the idea behind them will help anybody so you can find what best works for you if you're new here i'd love it if you would subscribe i make lifestyle homemaking and faith content so if you like that kind of content then be sure to stick around so with that being said let's Let's hop into the rhythms I've created in my life to live a more quiet life. The first habit I created was having morning rhythms. This can look different for everybody, but I do think that having a specific morning routine is so helpful. So some of my morning rhythms that I do or I try to do is to not be on my phone as much, to not play music and just to let myself slowly but surely wake up. And this comes with a lot of different processes. If you love coffee, it can be making coffee in the morning. If you enjoy stretching, it can be just taking 10 minutes to stretch. I am very guilty of waiting to the last minute to wake up and then I have a very stressful morning and that kind of sets the trajectory for the rest of my day. So I've been trying to wake up a little bit earlier and just having a slower morning and not feeling so rushed and just hopping right into my day and that definitely helped me slow down and really embrace the slowness of a morning. So going along with that was taking my time in the mornings. So for me, the process of making coffee was something that I I've really been taking my time with. I do have an espresso machine, so I make a latte every morning, and that process takes about 10 minutes. And I've really learned to enjoy the slowness of it and taking it in. And then once I have my coffee, just sitting down with my coffee and enjoying it and not rushing through it. And it's been so great slowing down and enjoying that process. If I could only choose one rhythm that I do daily, this is definitely the most life-changing one. And that is reading my Bible, praying and journaling every morning. Even if it's just for five minutes, it really does set me on the right trajectory for the rest of the day. And that is because I'm humbling myself before the Lord and reading his word, praying to him and reminding myself of what's true, that I am a daughter of the King. And no matter what stresses come in life, that he is steady and true and he will always fulfill me. It's so easy to go about my day thinking about me, 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 but starting my day off reflecting on who God is and relishing in his glory and what he's done for me and for the rest of the world has changed my life and I do believe it makes me a better friend, a better wife, and a better human being all around. And what's so cool is that science actually reflects that if you take time and think about good things, then you will actually start feeling better. And it's so crazy because that's what the Bible says. And in Philippians, it talks about thinking about whatever is true, right, lovely, noble. Think of these things and my peace will be given to you. That's a summary of what it says, but it's true that's how our brain works and that has truly transformed my life to think about what God has done that even though I rebelled against him he sent his one and only son who was perfect to die on the cross in my place to defeat sin and death when he raised from the grave because of the sacrifice Jesus made I could be in a right relationship 
with God because he paid the debt that I could never pay. And fixing my mind on that every day, it makes everything else seem so much smaller in comparison. And that is where my peace truly is, is that no matter what happens on this side of earth, I can have heaven to look forward to. And I can have peace here on earth because of my salvation. And so starting my day with that mindset really does change everything. The next tip that I have is to not fill your day with noise and create room for silence. This is a newer habit that I've created in my life, but if I was ever folding laundry, doing the dishes, or just doing any activity that was mindless, I would often play a podcast or music or turn the TV on or watch a YouTube video and all those things are fine and it's not bad to do that, but I found that I was never giving myself any moment of silence throughout the day. When I would go to sleep at night, my brain would start running, running, running because it was just distracted all day. And I found that maybe just taking 10 minutes to do the laundry in silence and to think about things and consider things or to even give space to listen to God has been a habit that has really transformed my life because it is so easy to fill our mind with noise, but we become so distracted and like zombies just moving throughout the day. It's really hard at first, especially if you have the habit of filling your day with a lot of noise, then it can be really hard, but maybe just take five minutes every day, drive without music, or make your bed without listening to anything, and I think that can be really helpful. A great tip that I have to slowing down is to take time to learn a hobby, especially one that you're working with, your hands. So that could be crocheting, learning to make bread, baking, cooking, whatever it is that you might love, try it and see if it works out. At the beginning of the year, I tried to do a garden and it didn't work out, but it was still really satisfying to work with my hands. I also learned how to make sourdough and that did work out. And it's a process that takes a long time, but there's something so satisfying about it because rather than consuming, I'm creating. And there's something beautiful about taking time to make something. This probably made the biggest impact on my year last year because it was the newest thing that I did. A lot of these habits I've added over the years, but last year I started replacing my screen time on my phone with reading. I found the love for reading again. I've talked about this on here. I always thought I was someone that didn't really love reading. I'd rather be on my phone just scrolling, but I learned I just had to find the right book. And so now I can sit for hours on end reading and it is so much better than just mindlessly scrolling or watching TV. Don't get me wrong, I still do those things, but it has been such a great habit to sit down and sit in silence and read and exercise my brain and sitting in a prolonged time without getting distracted. And so just start by taking 10 minutes a day to read. And it's definitely a practice that has made my life feel not so busy. Another tip that I have is cooking at home more. It is so easy if you live a super busy lifestyle to just grab food, but there's something about, again, creating something with your hands. And for me, it's a great way to unwind. I know not for everybody, cooking can be stressful or you feel like you just don't know how to do it, but I would really encourage you to take time and practice and it can really become such an enjoyable and relaxing thing because you're able to do stuff, but you don't really need much going on in your mind. And and I love that it's a great way that I can serve people and I find that serving people brings a satisfaction that a lot of other things simply can't. Another great way to slow down is to get outside no matter how the weather is, get outside. I mean, if it's raining, it's kind of hard to do that, but at least get some fresh air. Open up the windows, let the sun inside, feel the grass on your feet. Whether it's a walk outside or you're reading outside or you're just sitting outside in silence. I find that being outside for just five minutes and getting some fresh air can really reset my day and it's very calming. And lastly, similar to having morning rhythms is having night rhythms. Having something that you do every night that helps your brain go, okay, it's time to calm down and wind down. My favorite time to read is before bed. And this has really helped me actually sleep. I was really struggling with falling asleep at night and it was because I always had noise throughout my day. I was always stimulated and I would look at my phone right before bed. And so I turned my phone off 
trying to go to sleep and now my brain is running, running, running. And so I found that having nightly rhythms really helped me get down to the point where my brain could wind down. And just to really feel calm before bed, I think it is so important. So those are all my tips for slowing down and having a more peaceful day. I really hope this video was helpful. If you're new, please sure to stick around and subscribe. I would love it if you would. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.